great nation will always live forever. Some become great through wars and fights, while others are simply born with a destiny to work to attain such heights. But it takes time. The voice there of Myron B. Myron Bruce, who's had over 20 years in the uh, Parang Calypso Soca Chutney genre of music here in Trinidad and Tobago. I think he's done it all, but you know. And in 2018, when he beat G uh, Winston Gypsy Peters at Extempo, that was it. I think he was cemented into the Trinidad and Tobago Hall of Fame of Music. So let me welcome Myron B. here to the program. In celebration of Calypso History Month, we're just talking to the artists to find out what's happening and how they feel about Calypso History Month. Welcome to the program, Myron B. Good morning. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. How are you doing this morning? As, as others always say, I'm great like a coconut on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I, I, listen, that, that, that is a double whammy day because next, if they're really grating you like a coconut, you know, well, boy, <laughs> I mean, you're going to make a lovely pillow, but I don't know what That's it what means when you're being about. grated. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we, we good, we good, we good. Okay, well, I'm definitely happy to hear that. It's Calypso History Month. How are you celebrating the month? Well, I mean, Calypso History Month means a lot to us, not just as a... Um, practitioners of the art but as a nation on a whole we get an opportunity to showcase our talent to the world outside of the um traditional carnival season we get you know i mean a lot more attention and focus so i am working i mean with my team and other calypsonians the organization and so on to basically put on some virtual events to showcase and highlight the calypsonians the calypso art form and to keep the thing alive right and not just showcase and parade the um, the art to the world but also to introduce a lot of the youth to the um to the music that we have been putting out over the years to right. the veterans that have contributed and so on so it's it's a it, Calypso History Month is a big edutainment um, festival, as I would put it. We get to educate and entertain in this time. And when you think of the history of Calypso and where it came from, born out of slavery and the, 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 the wanting to tell the story of what was mm -hmm. happening, how far do you think it's come? And how well has it represented the culture of Trinidad and Tobago? Well, I mean, Calypso has... Calypso has really come a very long way. And as, I mean, we have a long way to go as well, right? I mean, we have already touched the movies, we have sold the millions of records, and now we have given birth to soca music, which the world is enjoying as well. So Calypso music in itself has, I mean, it has done so much, right? And today, even today, we have a situation where a lot of people claim that the Calypso art form is dying. I mean, the traditional side of Calypso is dying it, it, it's not as strong and as vibrant as it used to be but I, I think it's not it's not that it is dying because we have a lot of youth getting involved in calypso so the there's no way i could look back today and see that calypso is dying in any way because it have a lot of good good talent talented um youth coming up in calypso and what i think is happening with us we have just been a little slow to evolve and i think i mean for me personally it is time for my generation to really take up the, the mantle and continue running with it to give the ones that are coming up behind us something better to run with in the future now we know that uh, calypso has an extremely rich culture what do you think would make it unattractive to the younger people in society if there was something that you could pinpoint that would make it not as attractive as other genre of music what would it be well, if, if we are to look at um, youth like to party, right? The youth like to party. The youth, we, we were all there once, right? We lived carefree. And the freedom of, um, let's say, the soca genre, right? Where you could spread and have a good time, that is will always be much more attractive than the, 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 the nature of, of Calypso, which is basically to be the voice of the people to entertain in humorous ways, right? And it, it's, it's an art form that, yes, we could party to, and yes, we used to party to it, but the, the vibe of the party has changed, right? So now Calypso has now become, um, I should say, if we, are, if we are to say this unattractive to the youth, because, and we have to use that word if, 
Because yeah. as I said before, there are a lot of youth that basically that are in soccer, everybody that in soccer, most I should say, of the people that are in soccer today started off in Calypso and even still continue to practice Calypso, right? So, I mean, it's just the, the carefree nature of, of, um, of, of the youth, I would say, is, um, would make Calypso unattractive to them. Right, but it's not the art form itself. It's just the people no, transition. No, 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 no. Right. What, yes. what do you love most about Calypso? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, the capacity, Calypso is such a diverse... Um, it's such a diverse art form and a diverse genre. When you look at the political commentators, right, they can basically stand up and box with the best in parliament with their lyrics. When you look at the news anchor or the reporter, the Calypsonian can bring the story as good as any trained journalist. Also, when it comes to entertainment and craft, right, the Calypsonian has the capacity to entertain you in ways that you, you, you might never, most people could only imagine. So we come to out, um, so we have, I mean, political commentary, social commentary, of course, we could tickle the ribs with some very good humor as well, and we could brighten any gloomy day. And you're so, right, and we've I mean, had Calypso, some yeah. we've had some big names in Calypso. <laughs> but let me let me ask yes. you this: Do you think Calypso have had bigger names than we've seen in Soka? Of course, definitely, ah. definitely. The um, it, it, it is a fact, and even today, the, one of the biggest names that you know, I mean, knock on wood, still alive and functioning is Calypso Rose, right? And she has done so much for the art form even at you know i mean in the twilight of her years right that it is clear to see that calypso as a product has a place and a space in the world right that was carved generations before my time yeah right and we could see today in 2020 a product like calypso rose could still walk the path that calypso would have paved since the 1930s 40s coming up there Right? It means that Calypso has something great to offer the world. And it's just a matter of understanding and applying ourselves in the right way. Um, for us as Calypso pra practitioners to continue walking the road and, and carrying the torch. Yeah, I agree with you. Say, ready? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I feel like dancing. <laughs> oh, oh. I feel oh, like dancing. Oh. All right, I'm no, I'm obviously no well, Calypso Rose, but oh my God, I love her. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clear to see Natalie sing and dancing with me. When she doing that from Jamaica, you should know it is caused by the rhythm of Calypso. Well, look at she groove, look at how she whine, look at how she blessing with a smile of mine. Oh my goodness, my dear, it is very clear. Calypso music is great everywhere. My goodness. <laughs> It, I love it. I love it. Oh, God. I don't even think. And you know, my producer is telling me, let him do a little extra tempo for we. I never <laughs> ever get to it. Well, there it was. There it was. There it was. But you're right. I think um, Calypso music is it's just one of those things that captures the essence of Trinidad and Tobago, whether it's the culture, whether it's the humor, whether it's the history. It, it just encapsulates everything. I think what Calypso has done, it's told us all the different things that has been that has happened in this country yes. right through the years. So it's a nice well, archive not, of Trinbegonian life. Not, not, not life. only the country, not only the country, we have recorded everything across the world, every, every life event, right? Every yeah. major event in the world is recording, recorded in Calypso. Yeah. So I mean, for that, I mean, on, on that note, you know, I mean, it is great to be a part of this art form and to be a contributor to this art form in this time. Right, and I mean, I look forward to and seeing a lot more youth come into it and graduate and stay in it to continue contributing to the world of music. Uh, Calypso. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Myron B., thank you so much for speaking with us here this morning. Thanks for having me. And long live Myron B. and Calypso. Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Myron Bruce here talking to us about Calypso History Month, and he says, a lot of young people are getting involved. There's no way Calypso is dying, not anytime soon. And it just captures the essence 
of Trimbegonian lifestyle and even other uh, events right across the world. We take a break and we'll be back with you. When we come back, we should be taking those calls. In the hotel, soul of our land.